YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So, I might have been just a little bit wrong in my video yesterday, where I said that it looked like we weren't going to be getting any updates in Vanguard or Warzone this week. You can't really blame me, though. Those updates usually come out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, respectively. It's Thursday today, but we did actually receive an update from Raven, and it is huge it's not huge in the sense that they changed a lot about warzone but it's huge in the sense of what they changed the first and most notable thing has to deal with the loadout drops in caldera back when caldera was released in december one of the most notable changes between caldera and verdansk was that players could no longer buy loadout drops right at the start of the game the ability to purchase loadout drops which now costed ten thousand dollars was only unlocked after the first free global loadout drop event. That meant that it did not matter how quickly you accumulated the cash, you could not purchase a loadout until the free loadout drop came through allowing all players to have their loadout. While a lot of players said that this was a great change because it wouldn't allow teams to get their loadout quickly and then go take on teams that had measly ground loot, a lot of people were not fans of this change. A big draw to Warzone is the loadout drops. It's atypical of the standard battle royale and a lot of players really like the idea of being able to drop in, grab as much cash as you could as quickly as possible and get your loadout. Raven Software definitely heard the community's concerns and about two months after the release of Caldera, they reverted one of the biggest changes they made and a lot of people are celebrating. This is certainly the most notable change that we've seen in Warzone since Caldera's release about two months ago and it is definitely a change that the community has wanted for quite some time now. One thing to note is that this is only available in standard battle royale mode, so any of the other featured playlists that are special outside of the typical battle royale, you cannot do that still. The loadouts, you can only still get them after the first free loadout event, but that's okay. At least in the typical battle royale, you can now get your loadout. So in this typical battle royale, you have weapons available for Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War, and of course Vanguard, so you're going to have quite the expansive armory to choose from. Additionally, Raven Software announced playlist updates going into the next few weeks of Warzone leading up until Season 2's release. Raven posted the playlist updates for the weeks of February 3rd starting today and the week of February 10th, but that week of February 10th only goes until the 13th because of Season 2 starting on the 14th. This week in Warzone, players can expect in Caldera, Vanguard, Plunder, Trios, Battle Royale, Solos, Duos, and Trios, and Quads, so you're going to be able to play that standard Battle Royale and grab your loadouts ASAP in every single combination of player sizes. On Rebirth Island, you're going to be able to see Resurgent Trios and Quads and Mini Royale Duos. Now for the week of February 10th, which again only goes until the 13th, in Caldera you're going to have Vanguard Resurgence Quads, Battle Royale buybacks in solos, duos, trios, and quads, and plunder trios. For that very short week as well in Rebirth Island, you're going to see resurgence trios and quads. In addition to these changes, Raven also implemented some bug fixes, one of them being an issue causing collision with certain elements in Caldera that allowed players to exploit, shoot through, and peek through certain elements on the map. Further, they have solved an issue that caused players to freeze while they were on the free Battle Pass tier skip screen, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. With Season 2 quickly approaching it now being only 11 days away, you can definitely expect some more changes coming to Call of Duty in the coming days and weeks. In addition, the entire Call of Duty world is sure to get lots of news very very soon regarding Modern Warfare 2 the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard, and so much more. But yeah, guys, that is effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below. Let me know what you guys are most excited about for Season 2 of Warzone and Vanguard, and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads. For even more from me, be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content. Also, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, Intel, and so much more, be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with IPC on all of our social medias as well as our website. But other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it. Peace.